good evening and a very warm welcome to all those present here today. It was J.K. Chesterton who once said that education is simply the soul of a society as it passes from one generation to another. Truly, there is no human activity more magical than education, and its importance in human life can be seen from the fact that it seems to take up a large portion of our lives as well. It is then but natural for every parent to want the best education for their children, to send them to schools that guarantee them the best chance of success. Walking through this rolling maze, however, is not quite so easy. There are so many factors to consider that making an informed decision feels impossible. To remedy this, CMS Cambridge has decided to host an open day for all parents everywhere to offer them a glance inside our school and the pathways that it can open up for their children. I welcome all the parents watching us here today. My name is Anahita Singh and I, together with my classmate Daksh Kumar Singh, will be serving as the MC for this event. Let's begin. Hello everyone, this is Daksh. I would like to take this time to introduce our eminent panel. We have with us our dear senior principal, Ms. Manjeet Patra, who has spent over 35 years working as a principal and institution builder. Is considered a true jewel of the CMS institution and was also conferred with a national award by the President of India for her contributions in the field. We also have with us Mrs. Sneha Devedi, the coordinator of Cambridge section and an award-winning science teacher. Mrs. Shanara Khan, our center awarded English teacher and Mrs. Shilpi Agarwal, our CENTA National Topper Computer Teacher. We are honored to have such an eminent panel amidst us today. Swami Vivekananda once said that true guidance is like a small torch in a dark forest. It doesn't show everything at once, but gives enough light for the next step to be seen. One such torch in our lives is our dear senior principal, Ram Patra, who continues to serve as a source of constant inspiration and motivation for us. I would now like to invite Ma'am to kindly introduce the Cambridge section to all our attendees. Our lives is our dear senior principal, Ma'am Patra, who continues to serve as a source of constant inspiration and motivation for us. I would now like to invite Ma'am to kindly introduce the Cambridge section to all our attendees. When you find a dream inside your heart, don't ever let it go, because dreams are the tiny seeds from which beautiful tomorrow grows. Good evening and Jai Jagat. I welcome you all to our first virtual open day of the Cambridge campus of City Montessori School, Lucknow. CMS has always been ahead of its time and in the vanguard of embracing new ideas, keeping the child the epicenter of its vision. Our vision 2025 also bears testimony to the same. Always at the helm of dynamically adopting changes is a progressive management. When CMS could have successfully continued running the ISC board with phenomenal results, we dared to dream beyond to give our students education and make them future ready. So 2016 saw the genesis of a niche education opportunity in Lucknow to cater to the needs of the children through the Cambridge Assessment International Education. This is the first Cambridge Board School in Lucknow offering IGCSE and A-level. I say niche because we pride ourselves in an international curriculum ably guided by Professor Geeta Gandhi Kingdom, Mr. Roshan Gandhi, Mrs. Sushmita Basu and Ms. Dawn Taylor and blessed by the visionary couple Dr. Jagdish Gandhi and Dr. Mrs. Bharti Gandhi. Our teachers have undergone rigorous trainings and the student-teacher ratio is 1 is to 30. We offer a plethora of clubs and co-curricular activities. The students too have excelled in every field with exceptional results. Today you will catch a glimpse of the activities at a Cambridge campus where students of classes 4 to 12 and teachers will be sharing their experiences with you all. My faith and resolve in the success of Cambridge campus stands tall and undeterred. Together we hope to take this journey even further with your warm wishes, support and blessings. Thank you and Jai Jagat. 
Deciding to trust a new board is always a leap of faith, but this transition can be a smooth one if cushioned by adequate knowledge of the same. Let us now learn a little more about this unique curriculum from our coordinator, Ma'am Sneha. Good evening. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all to the virtual open day. We are trying our best to give you a wonderful experience of CMS Cambridge. The program today is a mix of live as well as some recorded videos, keeping the government guidelines in mind. Hence, we will be taking up the Q&A session at the end. The chat box will be open then for the same. I'm sure the one question that is on everyone's mind right now is, why Cambridge? What difference will Cambridge bring to my child's education? Will it help him build a great career ahead? Well, well few minutes into my presentation will surely bring an answer to all your questions. Cambridge creates independent learners. It is a place where students learn how to learn. They annotate and analyze text to develop comprehension skills, carry out experiments to build concepts in science, use manipulatives in maths to understand the geometry of complex shapes and reflect upon the past and history to learn from it. Let me share with you the beauty of the Cambridge curriculum with this video. Over 10,000 schools in 160 countries offer the Cambridge Pathway. The Cambridge Pathway is a clear path for educational success from age 5 to 19. The four stages of the Cambridge Pathway lead seamlessly from primary to secondary and to the pre-university years. Each stage builds on learners' development from the previous stage or from other educational systems. Schools can offer every stage or just some of them. This gives flexibility to shape the curriculum according to students' needs. Cambridge Primary is typically for learners aged 5 to 11 years and develops skills and understanding in 10 subjects including English, Mathematics and Science. Cambridge Lower Secondary is for 11 to 14 year olds and also includes English, Mathematics and Science. Cambridge Upper Secondary has over 70 Cambridge IGCSE subjects and over 40 Cambridge O-level subjects to choose from. Cambridge Advanced is typically for learners aged 16 to 19 years old and offers Cambridge International AS and A levels. Cambridge Global Perspectives is available at every stage of the Cambridge pathway. This unique programme develops critical thinking, research and collaboration skills. Professional development is also offered to help teach the Cambridge pathway. The Cambridge Pathway prepares students for life wherever they are in the world. This video, I hope, brought in more clarity in the pathway that the students follow. Cambridge students are confident individuals, secure in their knowledge, unwilling to take things for granted, and ready to take intellectual risks. Cambridge students take ownership of their learning, set targets for themselves, and fulfill them. The curriculum is so dynamic that students are alive with curiosity and embody a spirit of inquiry, always wanting to dig more deeply. They are keen to learn new skills and are receptive to new ideas. These lively classes make them, these very lively classes are very well facilitated by a group of outstanding educators. The school management 
ensures continuous professional development of teachers. They undergo regular face-to-face -face as well as online trainings conducted by the Cambridge Board to better equip themselves. Our teachers have received accreditations at national level by CENTA. The teachers interact one-on-one -on -one with each and every student. This establishes a close connect between the teacher and the taught that builds trust between them. And for this reason, we have a small class size. When students play an active role in their learning, they produce excellent results. In Cambridge, class 10 is known as IGCSC board and class 11 and 12 are known as AS and A levels respectively. The students are given marks as well as grades. An A star is equivalent to 95% and above. A grade is 85% and above, while B and C are 70% and above. I would like to share the past three years IGCSE results with you. There has been a continuous rise in the number of A stars and A's from 38.18% in 2018-19 to 56.88% in 2020-21. In just three years, we have approximately 60% of our students securing more than 85% marks. The second graph that you can see shows the growth in the total number of grades from A star to C, which indicates that around 92% of the students have secured above 70% marks aggregate. Such results have become a gateway to the world's best universities and are a testimony to the quality of education imparted at CMS Cambridge. New data from the Florida State University shows students who enrolled in Cambridge programs are more likely to succeed than their peers who didn't study with Cambridge. We bring real life experiences for students into the classroom. As an example, I would like to introduce you all to one of our students, Daksh, who is also a co-host today. He will now be sharing what motivated him to create an online platform for science enthusiasts in school. Well, let me begin with the real story of Psyhypothesis. And it all started from our school science club. Basically, in this club, we had to do research work and create presentations on intriguing topics of science. And we, being science enthusiasts, really enjoyed doing that. So we thought that we should not limitize our reach to just our schoolmates. Instead, we should tell this perspective of ours to the whole world. This led us to searching for different platforms on which we can publish our content. But honestly, we didn't find any. From here, we started Psyhypothesis. We thought that rather than losing hope, we should create a platform on our own selves. And therefore, we created a website and an Instagram handle. And now we have reached it to a limit that we think whatever content is posted does get recognition. So therefore, we accept and promote content from all the fields. So if any one of you right now sitting in the audience feels like you want to contribute your content, you can do so through our website. The link will be given in the chat box. So till now, we have reached around 1000 teenagers and have got content from more than 30 high school students. And this creates us a credible platform now. Currently, we are working on several future projects. The most recent one being Struggle Well. Well, this is a video podcast in which we'll be interviewing successful youngsters, university undergraduates and graduates, and we'll be noting their success stories so that we can inspire and motivate our audience to achieve their success. Well, our next video podcast will be released within 10 days. So stay tuned. Let's move on to the next segment now. If you were to ask a Cambridge student what this board means to them, the most common answer that you'll receive will definitely be that it spoils them completely. It affords them the chance to be curious and really understand the concepts that they are being taught. 
joining cambridge is as a life changing event but rather than telling you more about it myself i now invite the students of cambridge section to tell us more about the value of the cambridge curriculum in their lives in our next segment titled our cambridge experience hi i'm gorav i am from the batch of 2021 graduating this year for my higher education i have received multiple offers from universities both at home and abroad just to name a few ireland the united kingdom the united states and many more i joined cambridge in class 8 i have come a long way from the start of this journey firstly at cambridge i was introduced to an amazing environment the small class size made it easy for me to interact with my teachers and peers and overall helped me commit more interest towards my learning secondly the education here is second to none courses are tailored to help students invest time and effort and pave their path to the final destination this has helped me not only excel in the fields of my interest but has also broadened my knowledge and understanding of various topics and fields finally Here at Cambridge opportunities are always at your doorstep. I had the opportunity to take part in various events, competitions and experiences and not just take part but also organize one myself. Well, if that's not the perfect representation of the level of education here at Cambridge, then what is? Hi, I'm Asta from CMS Cambridge section. Cambridge has changed my learning style in a good way. Here I focus more on activities, learning and understanding instead of just mugging up whatever we have written down on a paper. For example, look at this plant. It is green because it contains chlorophyll and there are veins under the plant which carries food and oxygen throughout it. There are so many facts to learn about it and I'm looking forward to it. Hi. My name is Joshua and I'm in the 8th grade. At CMS Cambridge, the classes are all fun and interactive. The teachers are very nice and are always there to help you with anything you need. I like that we don't need to memorize anything, but we have to understand a simple concept, and the teachers make that very easy for you. For example, in history class, we learn about different civilizations such as the Mesopotamian. We learn about the classes that were there at that time such as the king, the priest, the upper and lower class, and the slaves. We took a virtual tour and visited monuments such as the Great Bath and Ziggurats. We also learn different landforms such as the Tigris and Euphrates River. The teachers always stop in between and ask us if we have any doubts with what they are teaching. My experience in Cambridge has so far been great and I look forward to the coming years. Hello, my name is Yahya Sharaf and I am in class 11th. We all have heard the phrase a school is a second home. I don't think any other proverb can better describe my journey. The journey began when I was hardly 11 years old and I knew right then and there that this be my home for the next 7 years so i stepped in smiling ready to start a memorable part of my life cms cambridge was never just about education for me here not only did i learn in the most application based way but we had field trips excursions projects and so much more the cambridge curriculum completely transformed my perspective of education it made me question things research different aspects about it and understand it not just learn it Along with the ingenious curriculum, my school also provided us with the environment we needed. The smaller classrooms, interactions more personal and engaging. But nevertheless, I was nervous when I stepped into GCSC. But all my inhibitions were cleared up by my supportive and encouraging teachers who stood by me every step of the way. They were not given an appreciation for all they do for us. They had extreme thorough patience to answer our queries. They always maintained the high energy level. even on our school which i remind you was unbelievably smooth and engaging without their relenting hard work i would have been the person i am today hi i'm nora and i'm in class 5th in cambridge section and it's a very fun school they have lots of projects and activities and they do quizzes to help us learn in a fun way and yeah it's very colorful And my favorite part is the bean bags and the library where it has bean bags, chairs, it has adventurous books and my favorite book is Geronimo Stilton and the Stilton um which are very adventurous. It has trophy shelves and everything. I'm very happy to be here. And yeah, I think I'll go back to my book cuz Violet is waiting for me.
Thank you so much, dear students. It was such a joy to see your smiling faces as you talked about your great experiences here at Cambridge. And I have to say, but the reason for these smiles, of course, is that our teachers make learning so much fun here at Cambridge. Their expertise is not only limited to our own classrooms, however, they continue to perform brilliantly at the national and international levels too. And the Center TPO is but one such example of the same. Center for Teacher Accreditation Teaching Professionals Olympiad, or CENTA TPO, is a unique national competition that recognizes, rewards, and celebrates teachers all across the globe. Split into three main sections, the Olympiad tests teachers on their subject expertise, the classroom practice and professional competencies, and the logical and communication skills. We are proud to announce that three of our own teachers have brought laurels to the school by delivering amazing results in the same. I'd now like to introduce them before you. First up, we have Mrs. Shanara Khan, who was awarded the title of Outstanding Educator by Senta for obtaining the very prestigious National Rank of 12 in the field of English. The floor is all yours now. When I first saw the Cambridge syllabus, I was, to put it mildly, flummoxed. I did not know what I had to teach and how I was supposed to teach. Instead of fixed texts or topics, there were genres to read and skills to develop. So I learned. I learned how to develop skills in my learners. The skill of writing for an audience, for a purpose, the skill of speaking confidently. Together my students and I learned how to read between the lines how to look at connotations of words and the way writers use words to convey the intentions. Skills needed for future ready learners. That's why when I wrote the center exam, I didn't have to prepare for it because the skills they test are the skills we teach. The experience itself was an exciting and learning experience and the result, a validation of my efforts. So yes, I am a lifelong learner and there is so much out there to learn. Thank you so much, ma'am. Computer teacher, Mrs. Shilpi Agarwal, who got the first rank nationwide for her exemplary performance in the field of computer science and was declared an outstanding educator by Senta as well. We're all eager to hear more about your experience, ma'am. Computer science is dynamic. Bringing cutting edge knowledge and skills to my students is so much fun. Senta, in particular, has helped me in self-reflection and assessing my strengths. Centre questions are not theoretical, but they test application of knowledge. Thus, Centre really helps a teacher understand the pedagogy. I am thrilled to be nationally ranked one in computer science in the Centre Olympiad. I feel a sense of achievement and pride because Centre challenges us to think beyond subject expertise now I am a confident technology evangelist who creates interactive, engaging and meaningful experiences for my students. Thank you so much, ma'am. Next up, we have our very own coordinator, Mrs. Sneha Kiri, who was also awarded the title of Outstanding Educator for her amazing national rank of 15 in the field of science. We'll all love to hear more about your experiences, ma'am. For a teacher, the greatest satisfaction lies in the continuous development of their students. I often reflect upon my teaching methodology and work on it continuously for the betterment of my students. I was looking for a platform to gauge my competency in teaching. Senta came as a whiff of fresh air. With my subject rank 15 nationally, I knew that I was on the right path. And the best part is that I did not have to prepare anything for the center assessment. My experience at Cambridge, the curious questions my students pose, the innovative curriculum, the professional development at CMS, all had geared me up for the center assessment. In fact, the pedagogy that we follow at the Cambridge campus is such that the students conduct experiments, collect data as evidence, interpret and analyze their findings, which ensures that the learning is more concrete. Teaching them such skills has made me evolve as a teacher. Thank you so much, ma'am. Center TPO is a very prestigious forum 
and to have our teachers feature in the top ranks nationally is a matter of great pride for us. Let's have a huge round of applause for our teachers who continue to redefine the meaning of education as we know it and bring such honor to our school. Thank you so much, teachers. Indeed, our teachers are our school's real pride and inspire us as students to give our best. Moving on, a school building is never just a building. It is a place of great love, full of the hopes and dreams of all its loving students. So to give you a glimpse into our own beautiful Cambridge section, I would like to invite Anahita to take us through a virtual tour of the whole campus. Thank you so much, Saksh. So I'll be your virtual tour host today as we go through the buildings of CMS, GN2 and Cambridge section. This, as you can see, is a bird's eye view of the whole building. And it's the first thing students see as they first come into the school. And I have to say, it's a matter of great pride to see those birds City Montessori School emblazoned so high up on them. You'll also notice that there are playgrounds on both sides because, of course, no education can ever exist in a vacuum. This is the very bright area that leads into the main reception area of the CMS building. It's often the first buildings that parents step into. And this is Shivri Ma'am conducting one of the many, many amazing classes in Computer Lab, which is directly connected to the library. So it's your one-stop shop for all your research needs, no matter what topic you want to know more about. This is also the Computer Lab, outfitted with the latest technologies to ensure the students have access to the best. But of course, no education, as I said, can exist in a vacuum. So we also allow students to really let out their creative juices and explore in the robotics lab, for example, we get to learn what it means to build robots. There's a swimming pool, of course, open to all the students. And even the astro turf is divided into segments. So every student can choose the sport they want to excel at, such as basketball or football. And when you really think about it, that's the real motto behind CMS. It will never push you into a mold. Instead, it will inspire you to be the best version of yourself. Now that we have gone through the CMS Cambridge building, we know a bit more about how it works. But a school can never be made complete by a building alone, of course. It's students who define who it is. And this brings us to our next segment. The International Cambridge section of City Montessori School is still a relatively new member of the CMS majority. Despite its young age, however, it has still kept the flag of CMS flying high by bringing many new laureates to its name. I thus now invite our senior principal, Pam Batra, to take us through some of CMS Cambridge's brightest moments in our next thing, titled Cambridge Success Stories. As Inaita mentioned, CMS Cambridge International Campus is a relatively new and small section in the CMS fraternity. However, if size were a factor, David would not have vanquished Goliath. CMS Cambridge students have emerged as trailblazers carving a niche in history in the process. From outstanding IGCSE results, where two students, Yaya and Sanskriti, secured A stars in all the eight subjects they had appeared for, to Anhaita Singh, who was international topper in Hindi. The results of CMS Cambridge are a testimony to the academic excellence that CMS stands for, and we have achieved in just three batches. We are at par with the best schools in India and hope to be the best in near future also. At Cambridge, students learn skills relevant for the 21st century and guided by expert career counsellors, which is why all our students who applied secured admission in prestigious foreign universities with astounding scholarships. Our students have proved their mettle on their home guard securing admissions in prestigious Indian universities like Ashoka, Christ College, Shiv Nadar, Kriya and many more. Students of Cambridge are not restricted by boundaries and take initiative in co-curricular activities with same enthusiasm. Our students have also been selected for some prestigious internships. The list is much longer than this and it would take me much more time to talk about the achievements of a very small but very powerful Cambridge International Campus. But I will stop now and request you to come to our section to see for yourself how we nurture and give wings to our students.
Thank you so much, Ma, for taking us through some of Cambridge Section's brightest moments. And now it's time for the segment that we've all been waiting for. No good open day can ever exist in a vacuum, for it is important to address the questions of all those attending too. I thus now lead us into our last segment, a Q&A session with all of us here at CMS Cambridge. Kindly write your questions in the chat box from where we will be answering them one by one. The chat box will soon be enabled to parents and there you can start writing down any and all questions you may have about our food. The chat box has been enabled. You can post your questions there. Till then, we're going to deal with certain frequently asked questions. The most frequently asked question is, why should I choose CMS Cambridge? Well, Cambridge offers a curriculum that leads to complete development of an individual. It enhances the skills that prepare students for a, an exam known as life. Students never question why a particular subject is being taught because they know the application of the concepts learned by them. Ma'am Shanara, would you like to take up the next question that yes, comes to your mind frequently asked by parents? Absolutely. The question most frequently asked by parents who come to visit us after the one you answered, Ram, was uh, what skills will you gain from this Cambridge curriculum? What, how will my child learn? What skills will they gain? So my, my answer here is we know the world is evolving very fast. What is new now will be outdated within a year. Look at our cell phones. We buy, a, we buy an Apple phone today and six months, it's off, I mean, it's outdated. We have another new one. So technology is changing at a very rapid rate. That's why our content can become outdated, but skills don't. That's why Cambridge focuses on skills. Our students are taught to think logically, work in a team, collaborate, communicate the ideas clearly, ask questions. Even when we look for information on the internet, there's so much there that can be misleading. That's not right. How do we sift through that? How do we identify the authentic information? Our students are taught how to filter false information. Global perspectives are taught. We, learn, we teach our students to, uh, ident to sorry, respect cultural diversity and accept the differences in each one of us. And most importantly, our students are taught to be independent learners. Shelpi, ma'am, would you like to take up the next question? One of the most like frequently asked question is, my child is in an Indian board and would switching in over to a Cambridge curriculum will be a smooth transition or not? Okay. So no transition is smooth for a child. I would be misleading you if I said it would be easy. Every time a child changes school or even a class, they have to adjust to changes. But yes, every child has a unique learning curve. And we at Cambridge are ready to help your child adjust to the new pedagogies and curriculum. We will hold their hand and we hope your child. We can promise you this though, they will definitely have fun here. Sneha, ma'am, will you like to say something, add on something? Yeah. Uh, well, in the chat box, I can see there's one question that is uh, being asked quite frequently, and that is, how do we take admission in the section and what is the enrollment procedure? So I'd like to take you through that. As for any other branch of CMS, you have to fill an online form that is available on the portal for admission. So when you go for the uh, cho for choosing the campus, you have to choose Cambridge as the campus. When you complete the uh, form filling procedure, the form will reach us and we'll contact you for uh, an admission test, which will be followed by an interview. Now, one more thing that I can see that what happens to my child after IGCSC? Well, after IGCSE, that is class 10, where will my child go? After IGCSE parents, all options are open for your child. They can switch back to CBSE or ISC boards. But let me share with you, most of our students have preferred to stay with us. And they join the AS and A-level, that means class 11, 12 program, as they enjoy learning the way it is being dealt with the, in our campus. Our students are a testimony to that. Another question I can see quite frequently in the chat box is, is CMS Cambridge an international board? So yes, parents, it is an international board in every sense of the word. 
from the pedagogy to the board, to the examinations, to how the examinations are conducted. The papers are set in Cambridge. They come from Cambridge. Our students' uh, answer sheets go to Cambridge. The mark sheets are issued from there. Uh, we follow the CAIE uh, board, uh, which is the Cambridge board. So IGCSC is our class 10 board, and A-levels are 12th board. So yes, it is international along with IB, which are also present in, uh, in India. But here in Lucknow, we are the only Cambridge affiliated board and our results have been outstanding uh, in such a short time. Uh, we are located at Gumpri Nagar campus too. Yeah, I can see one question. Parents are asking if Hindi is a taught. Let me share with you parents. We have the national topper for Hindi with us, Anahita Singh who is the uh, master of ceremonies for the day. She is a topper from the section, a Hindi topper. So definitely our mother tongue is given equal respect in the section. Many people are asking about where is the Cambridge section located? As uh, pointed out by one of my uh, colleague, Cambridge section is located as a part of Gomti Nagar 2 extension branch. It is located in Gomti Nagar, and this is the only Cambridge uh, certified branch or Cambridge curriculum based school in Lucknow. Okay, one of, uh, one uh, I know about this, how are the teachers trained to teach CI qualification? We see all our teachers, they, we, including me, we all undergo several training sessions before teaching the students. Most of us had face-to-face -face as well as online training from Cambridge facilitators for our specific subjects. These facilitators come all the way from the UK to train Cambridge teachers in India. We also have in-house trainings organized by CMS where prominent educators of Cambridge share best practices and show us how to deliver our lessons effectively. Our teachers are also key learners who keep themselves upgraded by attending webinars and training sessions which Cambridge conducts from time to time. PMS has also introduced professional learning circles and continue and grow with our peers. Shannam, will you like to take up the next question? question? Another question that I can see again and again is uh, about the English accent of some of our students. Uh, it's, uh, no, we do not teach students uh, to speak an English accent, but many of our students are international students have come from uh, countries around the world. And most students who migrate back to India prefer to study in the Cambridge curriculum. Therefore, many of our students have a natural accent, but uh, no, we don't teach them specifically how to speak in a particular accent. We do teach them how to communicate clearly though. Uh, also about foreign languages, French and German, both are taught, taught at the Cambridge section, along with, of course, Hindi. Sanskrit is not taught as, taught as now. Yes, uh, one question that I can see in the chat box is, is branch into branch transfer possible? Yes, it is very much. If you are studying in any of the branches of uh, CMS, the transition from the branch to the Cambridge section is very easy and smooth. And for details, you can definitely visit us or the contact details will be shared wherein you can uh, discuss the details, but the transition will be very smooth. Yes, uh, some people are saying when we can join Cambridge, we are eagerly waiting to welcome you all. Any day, any moment, right from today, we all are waiting with open arms to welcome you all. Okay, what is Cambridge? Well, we Cambridge, here in Lucknow, this branch is dealing with the Cambridge curriculum that comes from the Cambridge University. I'm sure you all know about the Cambridge University of London. Yes, they also offer uh, courses at school level. Yes, so here in Lucknow, uh, the CMS management has been very kind enough to provide us with an international experience that it is the Cambridge University school section, the school board that is being uh, offered over here. So an international experience right in your own city. Another very common question I can see is what are the options available for students in India after class 12 in case of Cambridge board? 
all options that are available to all other boards are available for Cambridge students because uh, Cambridge board is recognized in India and abroad at par with all the national boards. So a child who graduates from here has all options open here and abroad. Some people are asking about the grades we have from grade four to grade 12. We take admissions from grade four to grade 12. Sorry, uh, there were also inquiries about subjects being offered. So uh, we offer subjects uh, at the A level, at class 10th, 9th, 10th, we offer the, the physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, economics, account, not account, sorry, business studies. Accounts also been, accounts also been yeah. reduced this year, sorry. Yeah, so geography, history, all of it. We, and in uh, A levels also, we also have in addition to the, all the regular subjects, we have sociology, uh, we have economics, we have um, uh, design and technology, art and design, all those subjects are there. There's a wide variety of subjects available to you all. So I just want to add on one thing. The beauty of the Cambridge curriculum is that after 10th, you or even in class 9th and 10th, you have various options. It's not that you are from math stream or from science stream. I'll just quote up an example of you have seen, uh, heard Yayat sharing his IGCSE experience, uh, our IGCSE topper for the year. He has opted for physics and he has opted for sociology as well as psychology. Okay. Then there is another boy who is taking computer, maths, physics, along with art and design, along with history. So it is like you have the love to study various options, various subjects, and Cambridge curriculum provides you that. You are not being fixed with a particular stream. A lot of people are asking about the fee structure. Fee structure is there in our prospectus. We are going to mail our prospectus to you, and you will get to know about the fee structure from there. Now, another question is that how many batches have graduated? Well, three batches have passed and uh, passed out. And I have shared the results. I'd like to share again that there has been a continuous increase in the number of A's and A stars. A star above 90 95%, A above 85%. And in total, we have this year, we have around 56 to 57% of our students scoring above that. That means above 85%. While uh, if I take a combined of A star to C, that means how many students get 70% and above. This year, 92% of our students have scored 70% and above as an aggregate. All students who, need, who wish to join CMS Cambridge are required to take an entrance examination and interview before you are given permission, before you can join the Cambridge section. Another question I can see a lot uh, streaming is, how is it different from CMS? See, it is a part of CMS. It's just that the board is different. Just like if you have a school that is offering CBSC board, then you have a school that is offering ICSC board. This is one branch offering the Cambridge International Board. So board is different. We are still part of the same CMS uh, fraternity. Uh, the... 40 or the USP of the section is we have a very small class size. That means roughly 30 students in one section. So teachers get a one on one interaction with each student. We know each of our students inside out. We get more time with each student and we interact with them. We get to know, you know, an analysis, individual analysis of each student. So we work on each of them individually. Mm -hmm which I can see has been asked frequently over here is when the student has uh, asked for this as a subject option. So we are not teaching Sanskrit, but in case if any child wants to pursue Sanskrit as a subject, then we may think about it. Generally, if we have three students who wish to pick up a subject and want to do major in it, we do try to offer that subject. Uh, yeah, so uh, how do we look at different subjects is a little, uh, different here at CMS Cambridge. Uh, even though the topics might be the same, the way it is looked at is different here. Uh, as I think ma'am can te testify, I mean, Basra ma'am attended a few of our classes and she was uh, happy to see that the, the way skills are taught to the students are uh, more application based. Students are taught to look at uh, things 
uh, which are not known to them. It's not that they look at a particular text and they memorize it, and it's it's not like that at all. They learn they learn how to look at things, learn the skill of analysis. So they work collaboratively. They learn how to read between the lines, how to uh, apply their knowledge in real life. Projects are a part of every, I think, all of uh, the branches at this point. So uh, that is also a part of our curriculum. Experiential learning is also there. Uh, at the same time, uh, even our regular classes have a lot of uh, in, uh, interaction, role playing, uh, talking to each other. And because the class sizes are small, the interaction between students and between teachers is much more. And uh, students, uh, after some time, we, uh, we ourselves are teachers, uh, happy to see how the thinking process changes after some time. They learn to ask questions. They learn to ask, uh, to learn to dig deep into a topic. And that is what I think uh, we are talking about when you talk about skills uh, for the future learners. Okay, now you must be wondering why will students want to dig deep into a pro topic? Students, the kids, they just want to relax. Yes, why will they want to go deep into a topic? Well, our assessments are designed that way. There are no direct questions. They have to apply what they have learned. Yes, if they learn about diffusion, they will see a diagram, uh, a picture or a video in which the process is going on. And then they have to explain what is going on, why is it happening? So they have to go into deep details. So the assessments are designed in such a way that uh, motivates students to dive into de dive into the depth of a subject. So, and our teachers facilitate the process; they guide them through the way. So they are like, you have to go in this direction. This will lead you to the answer, but the steps are followed by the students so they walk their own path of learning we are going to share our contact details you can contact us and we'll be very very happy to have you people with us in our Cambridge section thank you so and much patience for an overwhelming yes, this is what we have been studying every day we are so so uh, happy to see you all showing your interest and pouring in your questions uh due to scarcity of time we are we are just noting down our tech team is working and they are just noting down all your responses. We have your contact details. We are going to contact you regarding your uh, regarding the most frequently asked questions. We'll respond to you for that. Uh, over to Anahita. Thank you so much, parents, for all your questions. The response has been overwhelming. Thank you so much for showing us your Anahita, enthusiasm you're towards you. Continue, continue, sorry. Yes, ma'am, am I audible now? I'm sorry. Yes, you're audible. Yes, thank you so much, ma'am. So I was just thanking the parents. Thank you for your overwhelming response. It's great to know that you are so excited about joining Cambridge. We're excited to have you here and we hope to see you soon at the Cambridge section. All your questions have been noted down, as ma'am said, and we'll be answering all of them via email. So no question will go unanswered. Now, over to Daksh for the thank you. Thank you, Anadha. So thank you. These are just two words. Yes. And yet they seem to contain the whole world within them. While they can definitely not stand in for all the gratitude we feel, we can at least try and communicate some of our appreciation using them. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank everybody without whom today's event would not have been possible. Our honorable panel members, students, and of course, all the parents who gave us so much of their valuable time. We are grateful to each and every one of you. And with that, we come to the end of today's session. Of course, Zoom and online learning as a whole is a relatively such a new program for all of us and we tried our best to bring you an experience that was smooth. There were some glitches, but we feel we got the message through again. And I hear a question coming up a lot, which is, are the teachers friendly towards the students? And I believe <laughs> as a student, I can definitely vouch that they are. They're very encouraging and supportive. And you are like, as a student who was previously in an Indian board, I did feel a little bit squandered because teachers weren't as permissive of questions in class they don't really allow you to be curious but that's definitely not the case here at Cambridge no matter how out of the box your question may be they're waiting to answer them so don't worry about the teachers not being friendly it's a completely new system and 
Thank you so much for joining us here today. We hope this helps solve some of your doubts about this humble section of ours and give you a glimpse into what makes us stay. Thank you once again for your presence. We hope to see you soon at Cambridge section. Thank you.